Well, hello, good morning and Merry Christmas. It is the night, stroke morning before Christmas, 2016. Actually, 06.30 hours Greenwich Mean Time. And here's the council offices. And to the very left, there's a Christmas tree, which they haven't decorated this year. Although last year they had lights flashing on it from early November. But now they've got, well, dead centre. Sort of like a bit like dead Santa. Oh, anyway, I know there are some colleagues of mine this year will be without their loved ones. 2016 has not been a good year for a lot of people and I'm thinking of you all and I'm hoping 2017 will be a better year for you. Anyway, off to Newport, last minute Christmas shopping and if you believe that, you believe anything. Newport, and I thought I'd see if there's any last minute bargains in the Queen's Hotel. And we're off. Number one, Santa's Slayer. Banks and Taylor, four percent. I think it's the end of the barrel, so who knows? Hmm, smells nice and hoppy. Hmm, pretty sweet. Not bad. Mm, a bit cold though. Plus. Yeah. The festive winter is sitting outside. Christmas maybe. We should see. I thought it was German. But it's Belgian. This is Main Lusa by Hetanka. 5.8% alcohol by volume. And there's a curry sale on. And they have chicken gel crazy. I think I'm in. That's a bit of karma there, Mr. Manny. <coughs> mm. <sighs> Powerful. You can taste it. It's strong. Hello, 5.8 is. <coughs> Malt tea as well, B plus in a bit. So I had curry, hence the sarsens, and an emergency resin. And I'm using Power Direct and I'm uploading it on another device. Uh, it's currently uploading on here of my curry video. Yay! On drug. And a big shout out to Tiny Velma on Eastern Coast time. It's close enough to half eleven on Christmas Eve and I was going to go to the lab. But it's closed. Because, well, I made the lamp for ages, but the pen and wake. Not quite what it was, but still good. Look, not raining. Post curry situation. Luckily, the pen and wig is open. Oh, look. Tinsel. A tree. And Tawny Ale by Cockley. Which was a bit lively. 3.8% alcohol by volume, which is very sessionable. And the music will give me a takedown. I can remember with a. Bubbly's machine used to be there. Decidedly okay. B plus. Quite warm actually. Anyway, 20 minutes I can be in the tiny Velma. As now Blue Dog. Blue Dog? Tiny Rebel you bought is now called. This is for Tiny Velma. Merry Christmas, Tiny Velma. They could be fine ales. They don't have fine ales. 
Okay, there's a Christmas tree. This is Battle Aged Filthy Animal, which was, I don't know if it means the same, but uh, Paul Taylor from Motorhead, the drummer. 5.5% alcohol by volume from Tiny Rebel. On keg. I'm in camera, I don't care. £4.50 a pint. But it smells. Wow. Oh, yes. B. That. That is really good. I saw Verdant and I thought it was Belgian. But no, this is Cornwall. This is like bulk, 4.5% alcohol by volume. 4.5% alcohol by volume in a tiny rebel glass. The aroma is somewhat wonderful. Fruity, festive. A man infested to everything. And if everyone, everyone, anyone from Virginia is watching, no, Mr. Boy, the young lady behind the young lady, who's that? Here we go. There you go. Apparently, you can get them. You can get them in Newport. Okay, I don't know if I can export them yet, but I'm going to try. See? Okay. Oops. Right back to the beer. Anyway, I'm, I'm thinking B. This is. The aroma is wonderful. And it is fruity and it's oh it's lovely. That's from Cornwall. You can't beat the hoe on Christmas Eve. Troubadour Mac Mac. 9% is a triple. Then the fermented. Huge head. Wow. This is going to face me off. Be <laughs> passing a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, the hoops. 